the customer had called in stating that the system was not keeping up and at the time it was a very cold day and I assumed that they might have a heat pump but this is what I found when I opened the system up and got my water manometer on it. My first stage combustion analysis doesn't mean a whole lot, but that's where it was running at one inch of water column. I was able to get the gas pressure for second stage up to about seven and a half and got a significant improvement in, in performance, but the system was still performing erratically. So I double checked the orifice size and found a 49 orifice in the system. So it obviously had been attempted to be converted. With a little bit of research, I found out that a 96,000 BTU furnace ought to have a number 52. So if you look at the little ports around the rim of the burner, you can sometimes see a little light depending on the angle and this is only part of what I've been digging out of those little ports some of the soot After getting the ports cleaned up as best as I could at the moment, I went ahead and did another combustion analysis with the gas pressure as high as I could get it without having changed the springs the way they were supposed to be. And it's not doing too bad, but we are definitely still overfired. If you look at the excess air, we're low. Our CO2 is high and our oxygen is low. Looking at the condition of the burners with the discoloration from apparent heat, it would appear that we've been having gas fire inside the burner rather than at the end of the burner into the heat exchanger. But based on the condition of these uh, heat exchanger tubes, we actually have had impingement of the flame with the NOx filters or turbulators having never been removed when the system was converted to propane. It would appear that the system is actually lucky to have not had heat exchanger failure as of yet.